FAA engineers objected to Boeing's removal of some 787 lightning protection measures. Last spring, Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, managers approved removing a key feature of the 787 Dreamliner wing that aimed to protect it in the event of a lightning strike. Boeing's design change, which reduces costs for the company and its airline customers, sped through despite firm objections raised by the agency's own technical experts, who saw an increased risk of an explosion in the fuel tank inside the wing. That clash will come under scrutiny Wednesday as FAA Administrator Steve Dixon appears before a House committee examining the agency's regulatory performance in the wake of the two Boeing 737 MAX crashes. Lightning protection on an airplane like the 787 that's fabricated largely from carbon composites is more elaborate than on a metal aircraft. When Boeing developed the Dreamliner, it included special measures to protect the wing fuel tank. It sealed each metal fastener in the wing with an insulating cap and embedded copper foil in strips across the carbon wing skin to disperse the current from any lightning strike. Related. More on Boeing. Flawed analysis, failed oversight, how Boeing, FAA certified the suspect 737 MAX flight control system building the 787, when lightning strikes new questions raised on safety of both Boeing 737 MAX and 787 Dreamliner. More. Five years ago, Boeing quietly stopped adding the insulating fastener caps. Its own engineers approved the change with minimal input from the FAA. Then, in March, it stopped adding the copper foil. The entire wing surface of any 787 delivered since then now lacks both protections. The FAA initially rejected the removal of the foil from the wing on February 22, when its certification office ruled that Boeing had not shown, as regulations required, that the ignition of fuel tank vapor by a lightning strike would be extremely improbable, defined in this case as likely to occur no more than three times in a billion flight hours. By then Boeing had already built about 40 sets of wings without the foil. Facing the prospect of not being able to deliver those airplanes, Boeing immediately appealed. FAA managers reversed the ruling exactly a week later, just days before the unrelated crash of the second 737 MAX. In June, a senior FAA safety engineer, Thomas Thorson, concerned that the agency was hurriedly approving Boeing's desired changes so it could deliver planes it had already built formally objected. I do not agree that delivery schedules should influence our safety decisions and areas of safety critical findings, nor is this consistent with our safety principles, Thorson wrote. FAA management has for more on this story, visit the news article link.